Hi everyone and welcome to my new video. In this video we are going to be talking about peer sensors and how we can connect them with any microcontroller. So firstly we are going to see what we've got here. Uh, so in this example I'm trying to make uh, something out of it and I've got one idea in my mind that I, that I want to create and after that I'm gonna share the code that I that I used. It is gonna be a pretty simple video, uh, I would say beginner friendly and if you've got some basic knowledge about electronics you will be able to do it. So what we are trying to do here. Uh, before I start I want to say that if you like this type of video videos where I'm talking about electronics uh, and tech in general please consider subscribing to my channel. It, it means a lot to me, so thank you for that. Uh, so uh, let's see what we've got. I used four different uh, peer sensors. The name of the sensor is HC, uh, just to check it, SR505. That is the name of the sensor, but we can use the same method with any other peer sensor uh, that, that you can find on the market. I used four of them and I connected the, the powering pins uh, in parallel. So this is the positive one, connected them with the other positive ones uh, on the other pure sensors, and the I did the same with the negative pin, and I'm able to power them up using these two lines here uh, coming from the breadboard. The middle pin, this one, and the other ones are uh, the signal pins. Uh, so it is a basic uh, digital output signal. So it returns low and high, so 0 and 3 to 3 volts, and we can read that signal and make uh, decisions or uh, some other conditions. So that is the circuit here. So it should detect whether a human or a person is in front of uh, the sensor. Uh, so I am using 80 Tiny, that is the microcontroller here. So I'm using that microcontroller because I want to create a device that is going to be battery friendly, so it won't drain the drain the battery uh, fastly. And I'm using here Arduino Nano just to catch the serial communication coming from the 80 Tiny and display it on the screen just for debugging purposes. Basically that's it uh, so for this stage and I'm using Arduino Nano here to uh, program the AD Tiny and so th that's here just to be able to program the AD Tiny. So that's it. So let's test it here and see how it works. I'm gonna stay still uh, until the, the sensors are steady and, and I'm gonna put my right hand in front of the uh, bottom sensor. So let's test. And as you can see, the bottom uh, sensor is active and also the left one uh, caught us. Let's test again. And yeah, it works. So it works. Let's see the code. Uh, so what we've got, we've got some pinouts uh, that I used. Uh, I used these pinouts on my AD Tiny, but uh, if you are using some other microcontroller, uh, choose your your ones. Uh, I've got some additional variables that I need through the code. I'm declaring the pins. I declare them as inputs, and I'm just reading the digital signal. So I'm reading the digital signals and I'm making conditions and at this stage I'm just uh, printing uh, which uh, sensor is being activated. So that's it for this video. Uh, I'm gonna make something out of it and improve it in the future. So as I said before if you wanna See how the project goes. It is just a hobby project that I do in the free time. So, but there are things that can be learned, I think. So subscribe to my channel if you think that the, videos, the video is useful and uh, we're gonna see each other in one of our next videos. So, bye-bye.